The assassin raises his crossbow at you, levels it, and that hits. You take 44 points of damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, that takes me down to 1 HP. I stand back up and I run away. Seriously? You're almost dead. Shouldn't that mean something? How's it going? And welcome to No Fun Lads How to GM series. And today I want to talk about HP, health points, hero points, fatigue, stamina, whatever it is your game system calls it. It is the number of points that you have that tells you that you can take hits until you can't take hits anymore. Typically when we play these games, we like to have a high HP pool because that allows us to take more hits and keep on chugging along. But something interesting to note is it doesn't necessarily mean taking hits. Today I want to talk about the various aspects of what HP actually means. The first thing I want to talk about is health. This is you actually getting hit when your opponent goes to hit you. This is your blood being drawn. This is your suit wearing down. This is you being beaten until you are beaten completely. In a game with health, let's use Call of Cthulhu as an example. That is true health, because if you get hit, you are near dead, especially in Call of Cthulhu. And more importantly, this has ramifications. You cannot heal willy-nilly, you can't sleep it off. This is going to take weeks, months, or maybe even years to regain those health points. If you're running a system that has health, then absolutely, if you roll to attack someone and they get hit, go and describe what that's like. Tell them that they are near death. Tell them that they are drawing ever closer to meeting a perilous end. In these sorts of games, every single hit you take is a tremendous deal. Health is your true total of how close you are to death. The second thing I want to talk about is fatigue. Fatigue is you being worn down, and this does have mechanical implications. For example, in a game like GURPS, when you drop below a certain threshold, your stats decrease, and that is showing that you are being beaten down, and this is actively affecting the engagements you're currently in, and presumably the engagements you're going to be in afterward. Now, in a game with fatigue, it doesn't need to be as hardcore as it is with health. When it, people attack you, you can describe that they hit you but no blood is drawn or maybe you get hit in the head and you lose a bit of consciousness and sight. It can be a number of things but the wear and tear is constantly affecting them. In a fatigue style system, you could find yourself going into a death spiral. As you lose fatigue points, your stats get worse and because your stats get worse, it's much easier for your fatigue points to keep going down and down. And lastly, we have hero points. Hero points is a static number where you have it and you are perfectly fine and dandy until it reaches zero and then presumably something bad happens. Take for example Dungeons and Dragons. You are just as effective at 1 HP or 100 HP, but once you drop to 0 HP, that is when something happens. In the older versions of D&D, you died outright when you hit 0 HP. But in the newer editions of D&D, you begin to fall into a state of unconsciousness. And specifically in 5th edition, you go down to death saving throws. But you see, the reason why we call them hero points is because of that lack of fatigue. You don't care how far your HP drops as long as it doesn't hit that magical number 0. You keep on fighting to the bitter end until you hit 0. Your stats don't change, but perhaps your mentality does. Perhaps you do different things because you know you're staring at those stats and thinking to yourself, okay, can I survive another round if I take this amount of damage? And when you go to describe this damage, once again, it is heroic points. This isn't even you necessarily getting hit. Perhaps these are close calls. Maybe blades is shaving your chest. Perhaps the blunt end of a weapon gives you a little bump. Maybe you happen to dodge out of the complete worst of that fire scorch that is blazing all around. Typically we see in games with heroic points, you start off with a very low number at an early level, but at higher levels it grows immensely. The commoners in the game still remain the same. So it doesn't make sense that a blade could stab right through you and kill you at a lower level, but magically you survive? No, it's because at a higher level, it's not you getting stabbed at all. It's the blade missing you, or perhaps giving you a little bit of a cut. The best way to think about hero points is think about all those action movies, pulp noir style, where you're going and going until you stop. Now, why is it important to talk about what HP is? That is because it truly dictates the narrative of your game. If you're running a game with health, where every little bit counts, and if you get damaged, you are out of commission for quite some time, 
then you need to plan a game where people are going to be out of commission for a long time. Versus if you're running a game with hero points, then it doesn't matter what you throw at them, the next day they're going to wake up and be ready to go. In a game with fatigue, that dictates the narrative of an individual combat. As you start off perfectly fine and healthy, but over the course of a prolonged engagement, you see that wear and tear grow both on the PCs and the NPCs. It's important to think about what HP means to the narrative, for the roleplay aspect, for the combat aspect. These are things to consider when you are running your games. I've run different game systems using different mechanics, and I promise you, you could run the same exact story, same adventure module, but if you're running different game systems, it is going to drastically affect the narrative. And perhaps you're playing with a certain HP system and may want to give another one a try. I strongly recommend it. It's a good way to change up the pace and allows you to reflect on the things that you like. So go ahead and tell me, do you run games that only use one style of HP system, or do you run game systems with many more? How does HP affect the short term and long term of the narrative of your campaign? And how much detail do you put into describing how much damage they take during combat? Tell me all those things because I want to know, but that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching, thanks for listening, and thank you to my patrons. You guys are incredible, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.